range of a quadratic function. We want to find the range of a quadratic function, and specifically we're being asked to find the range of y equals negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 7. We're going to write our answer as an inequality, so that just means we're going to use the less than or greater than symbols, and we'll use x or y as appropriate, and uh, we can also click on empty set. Empty set uh, is just a way to say no y values or no x values, and all reals means it's all the numbers from negative infinity, positive infinity. So again, we'll remember that range refers to the output, and it refers to y values. So I need to find the maximum or minimum y value to start with a parabola, because we know all parabolas have a maximum or a minimum. So if I want the range, I want to find the max or the min y value. And again, if I have a max, I have a parabola opening um, downward, and a minimum parabola is going to be opening upward. So again, remember, we know we have a maximum if the a value is negative. I have a negative a, and the minimum value is if I have a positive a. So we go over here and analyze our function. Uh, y equals negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 7. So right now I know that I am a negative a value. So my parabola is opening downwards so of a maximum. So that means that all the y values are going to be going down. So we'll go ahead and fill in here that our y values are going to be decreasing. So y will be less than or equal to um, whatever the y value of vertex is. So again, to find the y value of a vertex, we just start by finding the axis of symmetry. So we want to find the axis of symmetry. So x will be the opposite of b over 2a. So we know a is negative 3, and b in this problem is negative 6. So again, a is found in front of x squared, and b is found in front of x. So we want the opposite of negative 6 divided by 2 times negative 3. So we're going to have 6 divided by negative 6, so our x value is negative 1. Again, that's just the um, x value of the parabola. And uh, now we want the y value. So the y value comes from plugging it in, right? This is x, so we're just going to take y and change the x values to negative 1 squared. And then we have minus 6 times negative 1, minus 7. So... We have negative 3 times negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is positive 1, and that times negative 3 is negative 3. Negative 6 times negative 1 gives us plus 6, and then we're going to minus 7. And so now we have 3 minus 7, and so the y value is negative 4. We've already decided that our parabola is opening downward, and so then we know all the y values are less than negative 4. So again, we want to find the range of a quadratic function. So again, when we want to find the range, we are being asked to find the output, which are the y values. And so we're concerned, do we have a maximum or a minimum y value? So we look and we see that A is positive. A is 1. So if I have a positive A value, I have a minimum. So my mental sketch is my parabola is looking something like this. And so we know that we're going to have all the Y's go up. All the Y's are going to go up. So we'll go ahead and say that Y is going to be, sorry about this. Y is going to be greater greater than or equal to the y value of the vertex. So again, we need the axis of symmetry to find the um, x value of the vertex. So the x is the opposite of b over 2a. And a in this problem was 1, and b in this problem is negative 4. So we want the opposite of negative 4 divided by 2 times 1. So we want opposite of negative 4, which is positive 4, divided by 2. So the x value is 2. Now to find the y value, 
we're going to take our function, x squared minus 4x plus 3, and change the x's. So we want 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3. So 2 squared is 4 minus 8 plus 3. So negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So our y values are going to be um, larger than negative 1 because the vertex here on this parabola is at 2, negative 1. So again, to summarize, we want to uh, when you want to find the range, you're thinking about the y values. So to find the y value of a vertex that's in standard form, where you have um, x squared minus bx plus um, c, you know that you're going to start with the axis of symmetry to get you on the line where the vertex is located. So once you found the axis of symmetry, then you're going to substitute that into your function and do the arithmetic, and you'll get your y value, and that will tell you where the vertex is. And so then after you've decided, does it go up or down based on the maximum or minimum? So if it's going down, you will say that you're less than. You'll say y is less than or equal to a value. And if the parabola has a positive a value and it's going up, you'll say y is greater than or equal to um, the y value of the vertex.